Donating money is of course great, but it's also important to be able to donate time. I had a serious illness some time ago, and what got me through it was all the support I got, both from my family and friends, but also the organisations and the medical staff. Because of that support and how important it was to me, I also wanted to give support back to someone in need of it. I spent a weekend training for what was going to be one of the toughest, but also most unique and rewarding experiences of my life. The experience was to involve managing volunteers in Tanzania, working for Rally International. The team was working on improving sanitation at Jehudi Primary School in the village of Mkamba. It's also an interesting opportunity that RB has given me to further develop my management skills. And you've been one of the people who has been on project site every single day. What motivates you to come every day? The former toilet, it was not good at all. Mm -hmm. And our children was in biggest trouble. I see you, how much you, you are contributing to make sure that this project, uh, it is complete. Tanzanian government has an objective of having one toilet for 20 girls and one toilet for 25 boys. And at a school where there's over 800 students and only six toilets, that's about 140 children for each toilet. <laughs> Sadiq is an amazing partner. He's been a, a volunteer manager before, so it's great to have that experience. And he's always dancing and always singing. She's a little bit serious. Fun leader, maybe. She's energetic and organized. We had our first lessons today with the children and a lot of the volunteers came out of the session saying oh that was my favourite part of the project so far and a lot of the children left the session being like oh I'm going to go home and teach my mum. It's important to get the children while they're young to change their behaviour because it's so much harder to change the behaviour of somebody who's been doing something in a certain way their entire life and which is why also there's such a focus on, on children from Rally. On your right is the boys' toilet block and on the other side is the girls' toilet block. In the middle is the septic tank. There's a menstrual hygiene management room. Once it's painted, it will also have informative graphs and, and um, pictures to help them understand that it's a completely normal process that they're going through. All the other people. One of my goals coming here was to continue working on being able to adapt my leadership style specifically to the individual that I'm working with. And so we try to tailor the tasks or the projects that we give them ownership of to the things they're interested in or the things that motivate them or the things that they're passionate about. So we have Action Day tomorrow. It's a great opportunity for us to speak to the whole community about the topic for the phase. So for this phase, it's about hygiene around food preparation, but also for us to have fun with them, because obviously engaging with the community is a hugely important part of what we do. I think leaving this village is going to be quite hard. Saying goodbye to the venturers, saying goodbye to the other VMs as well is going to be quite tough. In some ways, it feels as if I'm leaving one family and going back to another one. I'm also going to miss Tanzania as a country. Everyone's been incredibly welcoming and friendly towards us, always so excited to see us wherever we've been. It's really a beautiful country. One message I would pass on to my fellow RB colleagues is that if you get the opportunity to do this project, absolutely do, no hesitation. Apply for it, do it. It's an experience that I will value forever.